Do you organize your files into folders and forget where you put them? Or maybe you have so many folders that you can never find anything. What if you had a way to create a short list of your most used folders? There's an easy way to do that and it'll make you drastically more productive. I'll show you how to use Windows 10 Quick Access today on Tuesday Tech Training. Welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. I'm Jennifer Stewart, owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I'll show you how to use Quick Access in Windows 10. Quick Access is a way to put all of your most used folders in one location in your file explorer. Just like you can create favorites and bookmarks in a web browser like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, you can create the same type of thing in your file explorer, which is where you have all of your folders on your computer. One of the great things about Quick Access is it can be ever-changing. You can add and remove things whenever you need to. So if you have a project that you're working on right now, but in a month you're no longer working on that project, you can remove that from your Quick Access. This makes it a huge productivity tool, and I use it constantly in my own business. We'll start at the desktop so that you know where to go from the very beginning. There are a couple different ways to get to your file explorer. Most of the time you'll have a shortcut on your taskbar at the bottom. It's this little guy that looks like a folder that's in a, a vertical holder. And then the other way, if you don't have that shortcut, is to go to your start menu. And then file explorer should be the third or fourth one up, depending on what you have in this menu. So go ahead and click on that. Once your file explorer comes up, look at the left hand menu over here. And it'll probably look somewhat similar to this. There may be a few things that I have that you don't. The main thing we want to look at is up here. This is your quick access section, which is very similar to a favorites on a web browser, as I said before. Most likely your quick access will have these few things here and maybe nothing else. Or you may have some of your recently accessed folders down below this area. To add a folder to your quick access, first you need to find it on your computer. So when you're setting this up, it may take you a while to find what you need to find. But once you get it in the quick access, it'll be much quicker for you to get to what you're using frequently. So first I'll navigate to a folder that I use frequently. And I happen to know that it's in my OneDrive. And it is my business folder. There are a few ways to put my business folder as a shortcut in this quick access menu. And that's exactly what you're doing. When you put something in the quick access, it is not moving it. It's just putting a shortcut over there. The first way that I could put that shortcut over there is to click and drag it over. Now you can see I have a black line. That means I would drop the folder there. If I hover over one of the other options and it turns blue, that will actually move the folder into the documents. And that's not what I wanna do. So really take your time and be careful and make sure you've got a black line, but you can put this wherever you want. It does not have to be in any kind of alphabetical order. So I want this underneath my documents. So I'm gonna drop it. And now you can see I have a shortcut to my business folder, but it still lives in the same place in OneDrive. Another way you can put a folder in the quick access menu is to do a right click. So let's say I wanted this music folder over there. I'm going to click it to make sure it's highlighted. Then I'm going to right click on it. And here we can see pin to quick access. That's what we want. When I click that, same thing, it will show up over there. And if it's not where I want it, it'll automatically put it at the bottom. If it's not where I want it, then I can click and drag it to move it. Again, watching to make sure that I have that black line when I drop it. The third way that we can move a folder into our quick access menu is by first selecting it. We'll select this business test. And then we will go to the quick access, hover over it, but don't left click. Let me show you what happens if we left click. If we left click, then it shows our quick access menu. So we can see it here on the left and we see it in icons on the right. So that's what happens if you left click on it. Let's go back to where we were, our OneDrive and our business test. Now the trick with using this third option is that we want to be inside the folder that we're going to put in the quick access menu. The other options for putting things in the menu 
are to be able to see the folder itself and either click and drag it or right click it. For this one, we want to be inside the folder and then we can do a right click on quick access and pin current folder to quick access. It's going to pin the folder that we're inside. This is a little different, but it can be really helpful if you're working and you realize, oh, this is something that I'd like to put in quick access. This is a nice way to do it if you're inside the folder right then. Once we click on that, you can see now business test shows up here. Again, you can click and drag it to move it around. If you make a mistake and put something over there you didn't mean to, it's very easy to remove a shortcut from the left hand menu and I say remove a shortcut because that's all you're doing. You're removing the shortcut itself, not the folder. The way to do that is to right click on the item you'd like to remove and unpin from quick access. It's as easy as that. As I said at the beginning, I recommend using this for the things that you're accessing all of the time. So if you have a certain project that you're working on very heavily right now, you could put one or many of the folders associated with that project in your quick access. And then when you're done working on that project, you could remove all of those folders. The last thing we'll look at is some options that are available in your quick access menu. You can right click on quick access and we're going to go to the options. And here, this main screen is the one that I really want to talk you through. You can choose to open each folder in the same window, which is the default, or if you want to keep the original place where you were and then open a new folder that you click in quick access in a new window, you can do that. Also, you can single click to open an item or double click. Double clicking is the default. And usually that's because you can single click an item and then do a right click on it to get a menu which you can't do if you select this first one. So I recommend leaving it on double click unless you have a, a reason that you really want to do the single click. The last section in this window is the most important. If you would like your quick access to show recently used files and show frequently used folders automatically without you having to add them, you can use this. Just know that if you don't access a folder for a while, it might drop off the list. So if it's something that you know you're always going to need, you might want to physically put it there instead of using these. I choose to leave them off because I have a certain way I'd like to see it. It's completely up to you and what's easiest for what you do every day. You're more than welcome to look at the other tabs here, but they pertain really to all folders and all file explorer areas. So you can look and see if there's some view changes you wanna make. And if you mess up, you can always do this restore defaults, but I would probably leave everything as the default unless there's something specific you're looking for. One bonus tip I wanna share with you is using quick access when saving documents. If we have a document we're working on, I'll pull one up now, and we go to save it for the first time, we can go to save, however it is that you access your save, and you do have your shortcuts here, but if you want to see your quick access items, you can go to browse and you can see it brings this up here and if we scroll to the top. Here's our quick access exactly as we built it in that file explorer. So this can save you a lot of time when you're working on things, but also when you're saving things. Hopefully what you've learned can save you a lot of time. I know it did for me when I first learned about the quick access, which used to be called favorites. If you have an older operating system on older windows, it may still be called favorites. If you're someone who is used to opening documents going from Microsoft Word or from Excel, this may be a switch in how you access things, but it can save you a ton of time overall, especially if you have trouble remembering whether it was an Excel document, a PowerPoint, or a Word document. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions down there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also leave the video a thumbs up or share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, a bell icon will show up. If you click on that, it will give you notifications each time a new video is posted. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.